So this is the RC Hooney truck, a mini replica of the 914 horsepower Ken Block's wheel truck. Want to make more cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, or maybe buy your dream house? Then click on the link in the description and I'll show you how many of my students make thousands of dollars every single month by selling simple items like this and this on eBay. So just like on the real Hooney truck, we have turbos sticking out the bonnet. Obviously not real ones. We have four wheel drive, a rear spoiler. We've also got coilover shocks, double wishbone suspension, front and rear. And there we have the motor, what looks like it's gonna be a little bit slow. Now that stock motor probably hasn't got enough power to do big smoky burnouts. So if it's too slow, then we're gonna put in a big motor so that we can do big smoky donuts. So let's first take it out the way that it is, and then if it sucks, then we'll make it not suck. Well, maybe this one won't fit in, but we'll find something that does. Mission for today's video, I want it to smoke the tires and drift, just like the real thing. Here we are, next or first location. How fast is it gonna go? Uh, I don't know, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> You're pushing <laughs> it, boy. Is go it? On, plug him in, boy. Here we go. Steering, nah. What about power, ready? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go to the moon. There we go, all zeroed off. <laughs> That's flat out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I reckon about 15. <laughs> oh, we got 17. We can do better than that. So here we have a Max 10 brushless combo. This should give it about 10 times the power. More power, yes! Oh dear, guys, that does not look like it's gonna take much power. Nah, we'll give it a go anyway. We're not in it, are we? Uh-oh, we have a problem. So the shaft on the old motor is a lot smaller than the shaft on the new one. But over here we have a brushless motor with the same size shaft. So let's get that one in there. So one thing that does suck a little bit about this car is that it does not take a standard sized LiPo. So here we've got a lot smaller one from Black Roku. Here we go. What can it do? Oh, that's loads more power. Let's let it rip. Right, let's get out in the real world, see if we can drift and drive like the real Hoonicorn truck, see if we can do a proper burnout and see how fast it can go. Here we are on location. So first of all, speed run, we got it on zero, and then we're gonna try and replicate a little Ken block. And look, that could be like the start of it over there, couldn't it? Oh, it's actually moving. How fast do you reckon? More than 17 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, I reckon that's gotta be a good 45, isn't it? Oh, we've got to stop. Kemblock's got to stop. Oh. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? 43. 43. Right. Kemblock's got to stop.
Oh, no. uh, so what does everybody make of it? What does Jason reckon? Um, it looks cool. It needs some modifications to drift, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's quite toy-like. And I think the only thing you're really paying for is that. If you want one of these, what I would do is buy the body shell and fill it on something better. Anyway, we are in Redfin Models. If anyone wants to come down, then this is where you can come and visit. Has Jason got anything else you want to show us in the shop? We've got loads of Tamiya stuff up there, look. Loads of tyres. Simulator that you can have a go on. Loads of planes. Toolage. Got loads of lipos, chargers, motors. A crawler track that people can have a go on, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. Bring a crawler if you want. Oh, so do you hear that? If you've got your own crawler, you can bring it along and Redfin Models. But it's got to be a little one, 24th scale. Mini Zeds, all these cars here on display. They might as well pay a little bit extra and skip the hoonigan and get something like this yeah proper car it's a lot more money but this is worth the money that thing i don't know <laughs> oh check this out so this is a what is it Sen genesis gsr5 that's one of them nitro that what size engine is that oh 28 pro and then this is a big rock but with a bug body on it and that bug is that supposed to be for a slash really that body yeah pro line slash barger bug thing yeah, yeah. that looks good we like that oh check this out Claire's RC is hosting an RC event and we're all going to be there. So if you want to get tickets, it's there. So overall verdict, ah, I don't know. I mean, it does look absolutely epic. 10 out of 10. But the looks aside, it's very slow. It's only got a brushed motor in there. And for the price, we'd have definitely liked to see a brushless motor in the car. The diffs are way too loose to slide it around. You can probably sort it out by putting in some thicker diff fluid. Overall, the whole car's got a very toy-like feel to it. The steering servo is very slow. And also, at the end, the transmission started to make a clicking sound. Now, if the car was half the price, then it would probably, in my opinion, be worth the money. But as it stands, you're really just paying for the name. It was terrible. It was that? Sorry? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, it's good. No, I was just saying it doesn't drive so good. <laughs> it cocks a wheel and tries to shoot off in all different directions. Definitely. Can't trim it. Definitely 10 out of 10 for looks. Yeah, it won't trim. The steering no. servo sucks. The motor and the ESC it comes with is awful. I reckon it should just, just go for it. Go on, nail it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nail it. No. Flash out. Go on, just nail it. Oh! <laughs>